little parish church of St. James, for the second time, centers the grief of a world on Hyde Park, New York. To Mrs. Franklin Roosevelt's funeral come President and Mrs. Kennedy to pay homage to the greatest of all First Ladies. A cathedral would not have held a portion of those who would mourn her. But like her husband, Eleanor Roosevelt wished to be buried from the family place of worship. Former President and Mrs. Truman arrived from Independence, Missouri. Former President Eisenhower also attends. Adlai Stevenson was the only friend outside the family to see Mrs. Roosevelt in her last illness. Vice President Lyndon Johnson and Mrs. Johnson. Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, Earl Warren. Averill Harriman was an old friend of White House days. Besides the great figures, people from the humbler walks of life also come to the final rites for a beloved friend. To the quiet grave in the cypress walled rose garden, the cortege bears the oak coffin, covered with pine boughs from Mrs. Roosevelt's Val Kill cottage. Though the morning rains have passed, the skies are somber, in contrast to the brilliant spring day when President Roosevelt was laid to rest here. The four Roosevelt sons follow their mother's beer. Three presidents stand with heads bowed in deference to the passing of the great lady whose favorite hymn spoken at these services began, O Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. <laughs> 